story time my experience with ozempic yes i tried it i try things i am just call me try a whore you name it i probably tried it especially when it comes to weight loss so my girlfriend went to a weight loss clinic and she was prescribed ozempic so ozempic is long lasting insulin comes in the pen weekly shots boom okay you get a prescribed dose and you get a sh and you shoot yourself up weekly or you go to the clinic whatever so I was like, girl, can you shoot me up? Can I try it? I want to try it. So I sure did. So she came to my house. She gave me an injection. I weighed myself. And like I said, my body absorbed things quickly. Like my system is like, you put it in me, I'm, it affects me. <laughs> so by Sunday, I, it started working. I did not feel hungry, but I was still greedy. So it did not control that part of the brain. Because I was still thinking about food. The fat girl still lives in me, okay? I'm prone to be obese. So she's in here. So I'm still thinking about food, okay? So, but it did balance my blood sugar because I was not hungry. I had no hunger pains. That week, for some reason, I just wanted to eat. I don't know if my hormones were imbalanced, the period was coming. I probably was stressed because the way I ate was disgusting. When I say binge eating, ice cream, cake, pizza, burgers, french fries, everything, every day I was eating, ordering food out, eating out, all right? That Friday, I weighed myself, ladies, the scale did not budge. I was like, what? I said, let me change the battery. Got on it again, the scale did not budge. Ozempic maintained my weight. It balanced my blood sugar, and that is, that's exactly what it does. It balances the blood sugar. But it is not powerful enough to control the part of the brain that says you don't need to eat it. It does not get into that receptor. No. So, by Saturday, the following week, when I tell you I ate like I was a prisoner who escaped from prison and saw a refrigerator and just wanted to eat. I ate. I ate. I ate. It was so disgusting. It was disgusting. I was so embarrassed of myself. I was like, <laughs> eyes open, just eating. The way I ate, I was like, girl, I don't eat it. It's all right, it's not for me. It's not for me. And I ate. <laughs> and I, I, it maintained my weight. But just the effect, the, the side effect, the afterwards, no. I said no. So, weight loss drug helps. Whether it's controlling your appetite or controlling the part of the brain that signals you not to eat. But you need a, a plan in place. A before plan and an after plan. What nutrition plan, fitness plan are you using while on these drugs? You, need, you cannot starve yourself. It's the worst thing to do. Worse. You better eat right and exercise. What are you going to do when you're done losing the weight? You look good. What are you going to do now? You're going to go right back? Because that, that big girl is still in you. She lives on. What are you going to do? When does your Zempic stop working? What is your maintenance plan? You need a maintenance plan. A weight management plan. You better put it in place. Put it in place. Because the way you're going to eat, especially for my overeaters, the way you're going to eat, Figure. I have friends who gain more pounds, more weight, gain the weight back. There's a lot of successful stories, kudos, but it's not successful for everyone. Okay? I'm just saying. And that's my story. And decided not to continue with it because I knew I know myself. And I did I do very well with managing my weight, just exercising a lot. Still eat and exercise. That's my secret. All right, live heavy, 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 so I can enjoy food. I use that energy. That's my secret. So plan what works for you. Plan it out so that it works for you for a long time. Okay? Whatever it is. All right.